Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Depends wherever you are watching from. Happy weekend to you all. It's your girl, your sister, Ebere, aka Obidia. It's me again, my beautiful people. How are you all doing? So, guys, one of our brother cried out. He said, I want to commit suicide. So, I'm going to, to read what she sent. Sorry, guy, what he sent to me. He said, My name is Godwin. I am a teacher and also a fognizer. After school, I stay in front of my friend's shop doing fognizer work. I fell in love nine years ago. I and my wife dated for two years. Then we got married. So he said that one year into their marriage, it was very wonderful, lovely experience to the point that he was even regretting why he didn't get married on time. But he said two years later, it became something else. My wife and my mother-in-law was frustrating me. My wife became so demanding for material things as if he was obsessed with material things. You know, sorry guys. And she even demanded for something she knew very well that the man cannot afford. You know, even the things that she knows that I cannot afford. And even get more frustrated because she also demand that whatever I bought for her, I also buy for her mom. That is a wife telling her husband, whatever you buy for me, you will also buy for my mother. Or else, there will be war. Each time she asks me for something and I don't give her, that means no one is going to eat for days. She will not cook or clean the house again until I give her that thing she demanded. Wow. That is not all. So, I'm going to just, uh, I'm not going to read up because it's very, very long, you know. So, I decided to open a provincial shop for her with 100,000 naira, which I also, a friend of mine, borrowed me 40,000, you know. I used the money in opening a provision shop for her, thinking that I demanded will be in control, but I was wrong. It became even worse. It became even worse. Wow. So this time, she's asking me to stock her the shop. Every time she's complained, there is no goods. I need money to stock up the shop. And I ask, what do you do with the money? And she said that she used the money to buy human hair for herself and for her mother. <laughs> it's crazy. Very, very crazy. I thought she was joking. Not 
until I went there. Behold, the shop was empty. Then I ask, how much is the human hair that she empty shop for? And she said, both are the one she bought for herself and her mother was 80,000 naira. And she said she even need more money to buy more hair. Then I realized what Bible say about a wife being a helpmate to her husband. But in my case, she is a destruction to me. I decided to visit my in-law again, which I've been doing. This time, I never know the mother, my mother-in-law was fully prepared, waiting for my arrival. <laughs> Funny, but <laughs> this is reality, you know. It's not a, it's not a movie, but it's reality. It's funny, you know. It's very, very funny. So, I greeted them when I got there. I greeted them. It was only my father-in-law that responded to my greeting. So, I told them I wanted to talk to them. And my mother-in-law started. He started cursing me, saying that, Anybody, any man or woman that will say that she will not reap the fruit of her labor, that person will die by fire. So he asked me, why can't I say amen? That means you are one of my enemy. So she entered into the house, coming out with hot water. I took to my head. <laughs> <laughs> wow mm, this is funny very very funny you know very very funny the biggest problem I'm facing now is my wife now I lost my teaching job the only thing we depend on now is the fognizer work which is not bearing more fruit for now. Now, my wife is demanding that I say the only thing I have, the only house I stopped at roofing level six months before our wedding. Since then, I have not done anything in that building. Now, she demands that I sell it and give her the money i need some advice because i am losing my mind mr godwin wow 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 this is i don't know what to call this please guys i would like you all to contribute to this I mean, in advice, let's advise this our brother on how to go about this very family problem. You know, I don't know what is going on this time around. Mostly our mothers, what are they turning into? Is mother-in-law, are you going to marry your son-in-law? You are going to marry your son-in-law with your daughter or what? She pay bright price. Allow them to live in peace. Allow them to live their lives. The wife is a very stupid woman. A husband doing two jobs at the same time to cater for you and your children. This is a case of when somebody is trying to build. And you are bringing that person down. Husband and wife. That's supposed to be. Working towards 
the same direction, you know. Fighting for one goal. You see this life. They say people that have head, they don't have cap. The one that have cap don't have head. It's just like that. There are some men who will have a good wife. Everything you can think of. But they will be misbehaving. Maltreating that woman. Come and see what a man like you is going through. So you that have good wife. Hold her very, very tight. So this woman, I don't think she is ready for marriage. Even though they have been in the marriage for seven years, seven good years with three children. How can you be demanding something from your husband? Then you will also tell him he must buy for your mother. Is he also marrying your mother? <laughs> wow. This one is very, very tough. It's very, very tough. I don't even know what to say, you know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Please, guys, anyone with good advice for our brother, please drop it. We will appreciate it. This our brother need advice. Please. His wife is frustrating him. Marriage of seven years. Marriage that bear three children. The wife and the mother-in-law, they are frustrating him. Bible say a good wife. A good wife. Oh God. Men are the head. Why the women are supposed to be the neck. Without the neck, the head cannot stand. That is how it's supposed to be. So just imagine now. This is our sister. That have a responsible husband. Hard working husband. Caring and lovely husband. But she don't know the value. She don't know the value of this man. Your mother has lived a life. Your mother has lived a life. If this man should dump you, even your mother, hmm, even your mother will not be there for you when the time comes. The only property a man has before getting married to you, you are demanded that you should go and sell it. It's even a thing of shame. If you are a good wife, a house who is already who is already uh, already in a roofing level supposed to be completed by now, seven years into marriage. If you are a supporting wife. That house supposed to have been completed by now. What kind of a woman are you? A good woman will know when a husband don't have money. You are even supposed to, you know, if a man is thinking maybe there is no money for the family or and all that, you as a wife, you know, encourage him, you know, Talk to him in a sweet way so that he will not have a BP. But no, you are even the one that is going to give him BP. A wife. That is very, very, very bad. A wife is a helper to her husband. That is what the Bible call it. But in your case, you are a disgrace to motherhood. 
and to women. It's better you realize now before it will be too late because even your mother will not be there for you when this man finally dump you because there is a limit to what someone can take. Giving you money for provision shop, you use it for human hair. What for? Not just for yourself, but also for your mother. Who is in her husband's house? But I don't know the kind of mother-in-law we have today. You know? This woman mother, you are not doing your daughter any good at all. You are not doing your daughter any good at all. Do you think if her husband should send her packing? My dear, before a man will marry a woman with three children, <laughs> well, it might be possible, but... Hmm. Mm. So, uh, for me, hmm, it's not easy because before this man speak out that mean he has had it all to hear before a man could say i wanted to commit suicide but because of my children i'm having a rethink so i will say don't do anything stupid in this world there is nothing worth dying for no money, not even woman. Nothing worth dying for. No matter how the condition, the situation look like right now. All you need is wisdom. Wisdom. And quality advice for family and friends. Good ones, you know. So what I will advise you for me, suicide is not an option and it will never be. Don't you ever think of such. This kind of marriage, you have tried for seven years, working, 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 trying to make it work while your partner is doing the spending and destroying my brother, you have tried very, very. But what I will say is that if you can no longer take that nonsense, that rubbish, I will say send her packing to her mother. That is what such woman deserve. Send her packing. But your children, whether they are with her or with you, always play a role of a lovely father that you are in their lives, no matter what. Because that is the only thing you gain in this seven years marriage. Those children. Always play your part in their life, no matter what. Let the woman go for now. Maybe later she might come back to her senses and ask for forgiveness and come back and start being a good wife. But if not, let her go. Let her go. So that is my advice. So please, my brothers and sisters, please leave your advice on the comment section. Please, please, please. And also share 
this video is very very important please share 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 with friends and family please my beautiful people as a man if you have a good woman for a wife appreciate her it's not easy appreciate your wife and the women let us also appreciate our husband appreciate them respect them it's very very important very very important so that will be all for this our brother topic today so guys before you go i would like to talk about have you guys ever heard of juice plus is a very great product very very great product if you are be fighting to lose weight it's very very good if you are suffering for type 2 diabetes it's also good it has a lot of health benefits eating disorder low immune system bp you know so you can check it out on my page if you need any of these products get in touch with me or if you also want to join the business it's a very very lucrative business for both women and men men can also do the business you know i am a wife and a mother but i'm doing it it doesn't have stress at all all you need is talk to people send message to people you know advertise the product that is all and you don't need to stock the product at home to sell you just refer people to the website that is it so anybody that is looking for an extra income you are the right place contact me contact me guys please guys share this video share this video and i will be doing live video on this our product few weeks time i will be doing live video and also showing you guys the product what it look like and how to take them so thank you very much guys thank you thank you for watching i appreciate please share this video with friends and family god bless you all have a lovely weekend Stay blessed and bye.